Hi, uh, my name is John Peterson. I'm a retired uh, mechanical engineer. I used to do the antique cars and uh, and show them and parades and whatever. I uh, still have a couple left, but my main hobby now for the last 10 years is restoring antique clocks. And I learned quite a bit about it in that time. And I, I restore them just like cars and make them look like new. And uh, I've been uh, enjoying this hobby, passes the time, and it's a... Uh, it's a great way of, um, of entertaining myself, and it's, it's not expensive. If you ever considered that or a um, anniversary clock that uh, that you'd like to own, but I always thought they were too fragile because uh, they always had to be perfectly level, and uh, uh, it had a 400-day uh, key wind movement that had a weak motor because it had to run for 400 days, and the first half of the year it would run fast and. Uh, it runs kind of slow the last half because it was losing its winding course. Well, think about this Elgin. It's a little different kind of clock. One thing, uh, it has an op optical grade poly uh, uh, carbonate uh, lens over the top. That uh, it's like uh, prescription glasses, uh, and it, it's very smooth. That it doesn't cut into the lacquer on the uh, base. Another thing, uh, this has a magnetic bearing in it. It's the only clock. It's an Elgin. That when you turn it off axis, it still runs. Because the magnetic bearing always keeps it in center and lifts it off the uh, base of the clock. It, it, it lifts as well as keeps center. And um, as far as the, uh, uh, the winding of it, well, there's no ratchet on the back. It's a... Uh, quarter inch square arbor, winding arbor, and it's just like a grandfather clock winding key. It, uh, it, it fits on the arbor and you just crank it up. And what it is when you crank it up, since there's no arbor, it has two winding spools. And it has this flat ribbon uh, stainless steel spring that's in a figure eight configuration that goes from one spool to the other when you wind it and it has equal attention throughout the year in the way this is set up. Um, and uh, it's a skeleton clock. It's German made. And uh, I guess they stopped making these about 30 years ago. I see a lot of these uh, still available on eBay. They're not very expensive. And uh, it, it makes a great uh, clock for the, to own. There's really nothing really goes wrong with them. And uh, we keep a pretty decent time. But remember now, it's an eight second uh, swing on the pendulum, so you can't get it uh, accurate like you do on a regular uh, beat pendulum. And uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, you can see the half inch or quarter inch uh, winding armor in the back. And uh, it, if you're looking for one of these, just look for a picture of the back that has a quarter inch armor, then you know it's this clock. It's the only clock that has this size of armor on it. So, uh, good luck in your hunting, and uh, I think you would really enjoy this kind of clock. And I know I have through the years, and it really doesn't need any attention. It has a very strong motor because it's a uh, figure eight configuration. So, okay, that's about it for now. I have other clocks that, uh, if you like that kind of video, uh, I can explain those. They're kind of unique too, the way they work and things about them. So I guess that's all for now.